Hi and welcome to the channel. I wanted to make a fast video about how I line up my washi tape in the corners and how I make corners that look nice. Um, I have some different choices in washi tape and I think I'm going to go with the thin one here. Um, first I just cut the end straight. Like this. And I lay down my washi tape. Like this from end to end like this and then I lay the other way I lay it down this way like this and I try to see if I can just follow along with the, the end or the side of the other washi tape hoping that I've cut my first part of the washi tape straight which I hadn't but anyway we're just going to take and do that a bit better so that's uh, that's how it's laid down now. So I have to cut some of this washi tape back. So I just fold it back, make a line so I know where to cut and lift the washi tape. That's the good thing with these tapes is that they are forgiving. So you're able to work them with them. And then I just cut um, the excess washi tape away like this and on the same side I know I have a bit too much here so again lift my washi tape like this put the one where I've got too much washi tape it isn't on it isn't really much so I just think that um, I'm just going to, to fold it back a bit here and just like this so now I can see how much I need to cut off and I know it's just a very very small amount at the top here so I'm just cutting up off here like this so now I've got washi tape, which is pretty straight, um, on top of each other. And what I then do, because it's more thick here, and some like this, but I, I don't really like this. So what I then do is I lift the washi tape here, back up here, and I just have to stand up now. And I take it back, and I cut here. From corner to corner, like this, and then I take back the excess, which is now on each corner, place down the washi tape again, Let's see if I can get the excess off here like this so here you've got it the excess tape so and place it down so now you've got a nice line there's still some gapping but I think it looks better than what than when they are placed on top of each other I can just show you what I do with uh, some other washi tape and show it a bit closer I think um, if we take a piece off so you're just able to see it a bit better perhaps I'm going to do it 
away from the, I don't know, yeah, that seems okay. So you cut off your washi straight tape straight, as straight as you can, and then you have to get them to lay in a corner. So again, as straight as you can, and place the one washi tape down, put Oh, that's not straight and put the other washi tape above it lift this is okay but but as lift it like this put it down and lift it cut here take away the excess tape like this and on this like this lay it down and pair them up against each other and you've got a really nice corner so just a short tip and idea to how to make nice corners with washi tape um, it's easy to do I'm not really, really, really uh, I'm, I'm a bit of a fumble finger, so, uh, so for me, but this is one that I really enjoy doing and it's easy to do um, and it makes your paintings uh, look a bit better and a bit more finished in the corners. So I tip another idea, I hope you can use it. Um, if you haven't seen my channel before you can subscribe so i have some good ideas uh that i come up with and then uh, i do some uh, unboxings and uh, my daughter and i we uh we do some um, uh some yeah some drill with us together and yeah so you're very welcome to sign up and um, for those of you who's already subscribed uh, thanks for subscribing and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video I hope uh, you will come back to see some more uh, yeah again thanks for subscribing um, and uh, happy uh, diamond painting and have a really nice day bye